Hello there. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Jolly Lads Gaming. My name is Aaron, and welcome to a game that has been a long, well, it's been a long time coming since we started our channel. Yes, I'm playing through Dark Souls. I've mentioned it a few times in Boardlands and Kingdom Hearts that I love this game. But yes, this is the real thing, and it's happening, folks. Now, uh, before we start, I will just say I've had a lot of trouble actually uploading this video. Basically, I record, I'm recording this through a capture card because, uh, you know, you can't actually record gameplay properly on Xbox One. And, um, yeah, it plays fine in the software. The video plays absolutely fine there. But when I upload it to YouTube, it speeds up by about three times and every sort of two seconds or so it freezes so the quality was far far from good but i think i might have sorted it out now so um yeah let's hope that's good and uh, yeah let's just let's just get into this uh new game so where shall we start well let's name ourselves Jolly Badger Not Badgie There we go Sex, no thank you I'm already Partnered, no <laughs> Male Class, okay We're actually going to be going for Deprived In this let's play um, purely because, you know, Warrior, Knight, Wanderer, they're all really mainstream and not super interested in using magic that much. Not until Dark Souls 3 anyway. So, um, uh, yeah, I thought this one would be kind of the best style to go off in whatever direction we want. And the gift, uh, Pendant is completely useless. Um, it, it does say it, no effect. But um, From Software essentially put it in there as a joke. Uh, just so people think, well, they've said no effects, but it's got to be an effect to it, surely, because that's kind of how they, that's how they do things. That's how Dark Souls kind of laid out to make you think that there's only one thing, but it's actually a completely different thing. And um, yeah, you get you get the idea. We're actually going to be going for the Master Key, uh, just because that's going to open up um, kind of a lot more exploration early on. Is good uh, physique. Let's just stay with average. Now the face. I'm certainly not going to be going with cleric. That guy looks happy. That guy looks very happy. Uh, that guy looks pale. That guy looks relatively normal. That guy doesn't. Uh, that guy looks like well, kind of normal. Actually, you know what? He looks alright. I'm gonna go for him. Right, uh, receding is most like my hair, so I suppose we should probably go for that. And that is probably closest to my hair colour, so light brown it is. I uh, don't think we need to do anything else. Let's just, uh, let's just continue to the opening cutscene. In the age of ancients, the world was unformed, shrouded by fog. A land of grey crags, arch trees, and everlasting dragons. As in everlasting gobstoppers? But then there was fire. Then there was. And with fire came disparity. Heat and cold, life and death, yeah. and of course, light, light and dark. dark, and of course, salt and pepper. Then from the dark, they came and found the souls of lords within the flame. Need 
Kato, the first of the day. Well, he looks very pleasant, doesn't he? The witch of Isolith and her daughters of Chaos. I count Gwyn, seven. The Lord of Sunlight and his faithful knights. And the furtive pygmy, so easily forgotten. Oh, of course, the furtive pygmy. How could we forget? With the strength of lords, they challenge the dragons. Gwyn's mighty lords peeled apart their stone scales. The witches weaved great firestorms. Nito unleashed a miasma of death. Even now, there are only embers. A man sees she craves the fire. But only endless nights. And that, I, I said this when I was recording the before, but that is definitely the armor from Demon Souls. Carriers of the accursed dark side. The suspense is killing me, folks. Black separation crystal. This black crystal, long a symbol of farewell, and I couldn't read the rest. Hmm. Yes, indeed. The dark sign brands the undead. That damn dark sign. And in this land... Right there, fella, you look like you're having some trouble. corralled and led to the north. Where they are locked away to await the end of the world. Oh, is that us? This I think it is. is. Your fate. <laughs> We're looking a little bit worse for wear, it seems. And we've got something on our chest. That's always good. Oh no, Henry! That's our twin brother, you know, Jolly Henry. Oh, you stupid fool. The Northern Undead Asylum. Excellent. Right then, folks. Um, I will just apologise in advance for the audio quality. I know it's not quite what you're used to with our usual content. That's because, as I say, I'm recording with a capture card. Unfortunately, I don't actually have a microphone for the Xbox One. Um, but yeah, I've uh, upset it. it. It doesn't sound too like too bad in comparison to our normal one. It's a fairly decent microphone on the laptop, so uh, hopefully that'll be okay. And um, yeah, also I am going to be doing the DLC for this game, Artorias of the Abyss. I've only played that through once though, so. Um, uh, yeah, I might be a little bit rusty, but hopefully we can gain some practice before then. Right, so right stick camera controls, right button attack. 
and you're dead. First enemy of the game killed. RT strong attack. Beautiful. That rat's already dead. Lest it can hold the dash. Fairly simple. If you played Dark Souls before, you know all the controls. Uh, if you haven't, if this is your first experience, welcome to a world of pain. Hopefully that, that won't be literal in my case. No, I've, uh, I've played the game through about four or five times now. And uh, it, it is still a challenge, but you do kind of get used to how it plays. So, uh, yeah, it's a... It's not. I'm not too bad at it, but I wouldn't consider myself anything over average at Dark Souls, really. So, rest of the bonfire. Um, yeah, rest of the bonfire refills your health and uh, brings enemies back to life in the area. It also has another property, which we will come onto in a little while. Let's open this giant pair of double doors, shall we? See, if this was Borderlands, I'd think this was a boss room. What's that say? Get away. Uh, oh, okay. I'll get away. <laughs> Poor guy. He thought he was going to kill me, but he didn't. And we get another bonfire for our troubles. We didn't actually need to do that because we had full health, but you know. Get your shield. Oh. I see an enemy with what looks like uh, an arrow and the body of an item. Could that be our shield? Well, let's have a look. Thank you, shield. Excellent. Beautiful. We now have part of a gate for a shield. Well, I'm sure that would drop a massive, that would stop a massive war hammer. I do not think. Quickly equip that club. Now we're ready for combat. Look at us. Look how noble we look. I joke, of course. Traverse the white light. The white light. Oh, what do you know? We're still in the asylum. Uh, ooh. Oh, it's you. The one, you're the one who killed our brother. Oh, poor Henry. E for back set, lest it can be for roll, simple enough. Oh, there's no door. Well, there's, oh, there's a boulder on top of those stairs. Mm, looks ominous, let's not go that way for now. Uh, oh, okay, that just leads us back where we came from, so we have to go this way. Uh, well... Let's try it, you're on the mic. That catches everyone out the first time they play Dark Souls, without question, everyone. Come on then, you've got some explaining oh, to do, fella. You. You're no hollow, thank goodness. Yeah, kind of. I'm done for, I'm afraid. I'll die soon, then lose my sanity. I wish to ask something of you. You and I, we're both undead. Hear me out, will you? Well, I think I will hear you out. You, you've got to explain why you killed my brother. Regrettably, I have failed in my mission. But perhaps you can keep the torch lit. There is an old saying in my family. Thou who art undead art chosen. And thine exodus from the undead asylum maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate of the undead thou shalt know. Well, that's a very well, specific you know, saying. And I can die with hope in my heart. Oh, one more thing. Here, take this. An Estus flask. An undead favourite. 
Well, I suppose you've given us an Estus flask so we can forgive oh, you. And this. Uh, oh. Under the Asylum F2 East Key. Now Excellent. I must bid farewell. I would hate to harm you after death. So go now, and thank you. Okay then. Yeah, so you remember earlier when I was saying uh, Recipe of Bonfires refills our health, it also refills our Estus flasks. So we've got five at the moment. If we use two of them, we'd have three. Yeah, if we rest it at a bonfire, we'd have five again. Excuse me, I've got hiccups. Uh, let's quickly have a look at the key. Opens East Iron Bars of Undead Asylum F2. The Undead Asylum is a giant undead prison segmented by countless iron bars. Even if an undead were to escape from a cell, passage to the outside world would not be gained easily. Hmm. I wonder why. Perhaps we'll find out. Perhaps not. I don't know. <laughs> hey, wait, what? He's gone. Well, that's just extraordinary, isn't it? <laughs> oh, that was an epic fail there. Yeah, so the first time I played Dark Souls, I thought the combat was a little bit, um... Wait, how can I put it? It was a little bit misleading for me, because everyone kind of said, Oh, Dark Souls is so hard, you've, you've got to try it just to see how far you can get. Played through this bit, I thought, you know what, this isn't so bad, it's just your run-of-the-mill fancy RPG. <sighs> how wrong was I? Also, enemies. Also, wield right weapon two-handed. Come on then, good sir. Oh, that's bad. I missed him. There we go. Simple enough. You can also kick by pressing the forward and RB buttons. Yeah, best thing to do with like little enemies like this is that uh, oh not get hit for a start but also the best thing to do is um, kind of lay back and wait for them to come to you and you're dead usually I can get through the asylum without taking a hit it doesn't seem that's going to be the case today it's always where I'm recording like LT to parry RB after parry into riposte let's give that a go easy enough. I'm joking of course, it really is not easy to parry <laughs> in this game. Not easy at all. You need to you need to be exactly spot on. But um, yeah, we've got more white light it seems. However, unfortunately that is going to have to wait until next time. So I hope you've enjoyed the first episode of Dark Souls here with me, Aaron of Jolly Lads Gaming. If you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, and uh, maybe give a comment, a bit of feedback, like something like that. Uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.